Okay, this is problem 18 from chapter 4. We have a circuit um, that has a 3 amp source going into this node. 200 ohms resistor connected in parallel with the 3 amp. We also have at this node a 10 ohm resistor, a dependent voltage source that has value of 5 I delta. Um, a, a 5 I delta is going in this direction, 20 ohms resistor and 80 volts. And we need to find the voltage drop across the 200 ohm resistor using the node voltage method. We also want to find the power that is um, uh, the power from the five ohm, um, the dependent voltage source and the total power jet, um, delivered or dissipated by the two independent sources. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not going to. Um, the node here, I'm just going to call this node, take this node to be, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to take the, this to be my ground. That's a very uh, natural choice. Um, but we already have this node named. It's V out. No need to name it again. And um, this is just a jumper wire that's connected here. So it's still V out here. Um, since there is nothing, no, nothing in between, nothing going on there except for a piece of wire, it still has the same voltage drop there. So um, we can start to write our node voltage equation right there at VL. So node voltage at VL, we're gonna go VL. We have three amps going into the node, so that's gonna be negative three plus VL over 200. So, and here we have, once we cross this wire, there's actually two branch currents we have to account for. This branch current, that branch current. So this branch current, remember this is also V out, is going to be V out minus five I delta over 10. Remember the node voltage source is adding up branch currents. So this is, um, even the thing that really screwed me up uh, because it's easy to make this mistake is you're working with uh, I delta, it's a current, so but it's really a voltage. So it's a, it's a voltage that depends on the value of um, a current, so that's why it's a little screwy. So then over here we have plus V out minus 80 over 20. That should equal zero. Now we have one equation and two unknowns. Where does our second equation comes from? Whenever you have a dependent voltage source, you always have to name what it's dependent. It, it writes its own equation. In other words, we have um, I delta, right? We have some, some um, we don't know what I delta is. Well, I delta is here, defined right here, to be positive N, going into that across the current, across the 20 ohm resistor. So it's gonna be I delta, the second equation that we need is I'm going to park it over here temporarily, but the second equation that we need is I delta is equal to V out minus 80 over 20. And that's just going to be, I'm going to simplify that to 120 V out, V out over 20 minus 4, I believe. And that's just easier to work with. So now, right here, I'm going to simplify this. Actually, I'm going to move this, this negative 3. Over here, I have a negative 4, 80 over, uh, so a negative 3 and a negative 4 is a negative 7, which I'm going to handle for over here as a positive 7. So now, I've moved that, and I've moved that. Now I can begin to simplify this. I'm going to first combine all my V outs, which 1 over 200 plus 1 over 10, plus 1 over 20. And here I have negative 1 half. Oh, I made a mistake, and this was what killed me in the first one. Being in auto mode, I said V out minus 5, five IS, but it's really V out minus negative, remember? Uh, and that's, I didn't look carefully enough at the problem, and I'm so used to plus minus, but it's really V out minus negative 5, uh, five I delta. So that was where I made my mistake, and probably, potentially, you would have made, made the same mistake, too. So it should be really minus negative 5i delta, which means it's a plus. So negative and a negative is a positive. 
Um, so then we have plus 5 over 10 is 1 half. So 1 half I delta, we said, is V out over 20 minus 4. And that's equal to 7. Now I have one equation, one in unknown, and I can solve that. So for V out, I have coefficients 1 over 200 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20. This is going to be 1 over 40 when I distribute it, plus 1 over 40. And this negative 4 times 1 half is negative 2, which I can bring over there to become 9. And once you solve for that in your calculator, you, you should, and let me just make sure I didn't make any mistakes, 1, 200, 110, 120, 149. Yes, so once you solve that in your calculator, you'll come up with V out is equal to 50 volts. So now we know it's 50 volts here. All right, so now for part B, we need to find the power, power consumed or delivered by the dependent voltage source. And of course, P is simply VI. So now we gotta find um, I. Well, we need two pieces. Well, we know what the V, v is, right? V is going to be 5I delta. And we said I delta, I delta is equal to V out over 20 minus 4. Well, now we know what V out is. It's 50 over 20 minus 4. And um, when you put that in, you'll find out that I delta is negative 1.5 amps. So now we know what I delta is, negative 1.5 amps. We know what V out is. V out is going to be 7 times negative 1.5, which is going to be negative 7.5 volts. Okay, now that was just one piece of the puzzle. We need to find I, the current that is going across uh, the, five, the dependent voltage source. So, this drop here is negative, negative 7.5. If I want to go in the positive direction, then, so I want to go in the positive direction, the tail of the arrows here, so I'm going to go 7.5 volts minus, I want that current, minus 50 volts over 10 ohms, and if you do that, you should, let me just make sure, 50, you should come up with negative negative 4.25 amps. So now we have um, all the information that we need. So this is going to be negative, uh, negative 7.5 volts times negative 4.25 amps. And when you do that, you should come up with the power that's being absorbed is going to be 31.875 watts. Okay, so now that's part B. For part C, we need to find the power from uh, consumed or delivered by the two independent sources. So this is, so P of 80 volts is gonna be 80 volts times the current. And the current is going to be I delta, which we already figured out. So I delta is going to be negative 1.5 and that gives you negative, negative 120 watts that the 80 volt source is delivering to this circuit. And for three, the 3 amps, we have, of course, negative 3 amps times V out, which is 50 volts. And that is negative 150 watts that the 3 amp current source is delivering to this circuit. So the total that's being delivered is going to be 270 watts delivered. And that concludes number 18.